So, let us now have the sample problem. So, a company produces an electronic timing switch that is used in consumer and commercial products. The fixed cost is $73,000 per month and the variable cost, ano, so small letter CV lang to, is $83 per unit. So, small letter CV lang siya kasi nga per unit. Then, the selling price per unit is P is equal to $180 minus 0.02D. So, for this situation, letter A, determine the optimal value for this product and confirm that a profit occurs instead of a loss at this demand. So, now, compute natin solution. So, unahin natin si optimal value. So, sabi natin si optimal value is our D asterisk. Ano nga ba yung formula natin for D asterisk? This is equal to A minus CV all over 2D. So, now, let us identify the given values. Ano? So, saan mang gagaling si A? So, di ba, dito siya sa equation ng selling price natin. Di ba, originally, si selling price is equal to A minus BD. So, yung A natin is yung constant dito. And then, si B is the coefficient ni D. So, therefore, our A here is equal to 180. Then, si... B natin is 0.02. So, hindi siya negative. Ano kasi dun sa pinagbasehan nating formula, negative na talaga to. And then, ito yung si B. So, 0.02. So, let us uh, now, what is the value of small letter C sa B? This is equal to $83. So, halimbawa naman, total ah, uh, total variable cost na yung binigay, uh, pwede natin i-divide dun sa demand. Pero, ito na, per unit. So, we have $83. So, now we are going to substitute the values. So, we have $180 minus $83 and then all over 2 times 0 0.02. So, we have the value of the asterisk. So, 180 minus 83 divided by 0 0.02. This is equal to 2,425 units. So, ito yung number of demand na magbibigay sa atin ng maximum profit. So, check nga natin if sabi doon dito, confirm that a profit occurs instead of a loss at this demand. So, pwede natin i-check manually, ano, i-substitute natin. So, di ba ang selling, ang magiging profit natin is equal to A, B, A, D minus B, D squared minus the total cost ano so or the total cost which is a uh, fixed cost plus the unit uh variable cost per unit times the demand so we have so a is 180 and then yung demand natin na 2 for 25 minus b is 0 0.02 times d squared. So, 2 for 25 ulit squared minus, ano ba to CCF is fixed cost natin na $73,000 plus yung variable cost na 83 per unit. So, ilang units? 2 for 25. So, we have 
180. So we have here the answer for positive 44,612.5. So since positive, ano meaning? Profit siya. Pero pag nag-negative yung value natin dito, na lumabas, siya ay loss. So, meron tayong um, ba formula din for to check na kung meron ba talagang profit or loss. So, base daw yun dun sa second derivative. So, diba itong una, to, yung minaximize natin si profit, diba dinerive natin si si equation ng profit. So, it, so, originally, ano nga yung equation ng profit natin? So, sabi natin si re, total revenue minus the total cost. So, we have yung total revenue A, B minus ay, A, D minus B, D squared minus yung total cost C, F plus small C, B times D. So, kunin daw natin yung second derivative nito. So, yung first derivative niya is A minus 2BD minus 0 to ano, and then ito is CV na lang. So, if we get the second derivative, so, 0 na din to, and then we have negative 2B na lang. So, ito siya, negative 2B. So, kapag sinubstitute mo daw dito si Uh, value ng B natin which is ilan? 0.02 kapag negative yung lumabas therefore uh, it is a uh, profit will occur ano instead of a loss so baliktad siya kanina ano dun sa actual value ng uh, profit natin na uh, in terms ng dollars dapat positive yung lumabas pero dito sa second derivative dapat negative yung lalabas na sagot. So, yun. So, now we have the second question. Find the volumes at which break even occurs. So, di ba may derived formula na tayo kanina which is equal sa d prime is equal to negative a minus cv plus minus So, magsasubstitute lang tayo dito sa derived formula natin. Ano? Ito na yung given natin. Kanina. So, we have for d prime 1, this is equal to uh, negative ano yung a? 180 minus cv natin which is c83 plus minus So, sabi ko kanina for d prime 1, ang gagamitin natin is yung positive sign. So, we have si A minus CV natin. Ilan ba to A minus CV. Sige, ito ba ito Squared minus 4. Negative B. Tapos, negative CF. Negative 83. Ah, negative $73,000 all over to negative 0.02 so for the prime one we have so ayan uh, yung value natin for the prime one is 932 units so for the prime two naman ang gamitin mo naman dito is yung negative sign so we have 3,918 units per month. So, therefore, yung profitable range natin is in between ng 932 to 3,918. So, anong ibig sabihin ng profitable range? So, ito lang yung number of units na dapat mong i-produce 
monthly para magkaroon ka ng kita or ng profit. Ano? So, kapag nag-produce ka daw ng less than 932 lang, therefore, lugi ka pa. Kasi, kumbaga, di ba may fixed cost ka? Ang laki. $73,000. And then, ano naman dito? Sa, kapag nagtaas ka naman dito sa $3,918, let's say, $3,950, mag, magkakaroon ka din ng loss. Kasi, ah, uh, Siguro, di ba, dito sa variable cost and then the selling price. Which is, nagdi-decrease yung price natin habang dumadami yung number of demands. So, ito yung sagot. Nine, in between ng 932 to 3,918 yung profitable range. So, break even occurs at 932 and 3,918. Wala kang kita or wala ka ding loss. So, yun lang.